the TV network for you that, getting your hand up and. Uh, I don't want to say I saved the game. It was just a big play in the game. What you? What happened on that play? Just got your ball out there. Uh, the uh, offensive uh, guard came at me. I read it was pass, and Coach Madison always say, "Get your hands up." I got my hands up and got a piece of the ball. Wish I got the pick, but I ain't get it. <laughs> Are you back to 100 percent? Oh yes, sir. Lawrence, what, what's it like? I mean, after you've been working for a little bit, now you're, you know, a piece, a main piece now of this defensive line. Right. What, what is it feeling like? That's amazing. Uh, really getting the chance to play, uh, showcasing my skills on the field. It's a great feeling. Were you discouraged a little bit? I mean, in the beginning of the year when you had something going on, right? A little injury going on? Oh, uh, no, I was never discouraged. I uh, just kept fighting through it. What was it that was bothering you? Uh, I was just a little banged up. Okay. <laughs> Not much. How far has a Brian Monet come over the last year or so? Oh, Brian came a long Not He came a long way for sure. Uh, losing a lot of weight. Getting his feet back wet, like coming off the ball fast, like feeling like the old Monet when he was really coming off the ball fast. That's a great feeling. What kind of strides have you guys made from game one to game four? Oh my God. Uh, D line, like getting more sacks after the first game, we probably, I think we only had one sack. So, like, just getting more sacks, uh, getting to the quarterback more. Uh, the inside guys, we could, like, we got Carlo playing. Then we got me, then we got Mike, we got Monet, uh, we got Jeter coming along, Carl Meyer coming along. We, we got a lot of depth. Seeing more and more of Jeter, what does he do well? Uh, Jeter's strong. Jeter's strong. Uh, those dough teams don't phase him. He, he, he good. He had to make a transition from outside to inside a lot like you did. Right. Was there anything that you saw with him doing that that you were able to, to guide him through it? Uh, just to show him the ways, like how Moher showed me, uh, like telling him to come off the ball, uh, really like uh, get off the defenders, don't stay on the defenders, just play hard. Lawrence, where, where have you made your biggest gains, like physically and on the field play? Uh, I know the game much better now, uh, that's what I say. Uh, just looking at how Mo played. And just like coming off the ball fast, like reading my keys and really knowing what the offensive line gonna do. That's why I feel like I made a big jump at. Can you give an example of that? What are you looking at when you're looking at the offense? Uh, looking get... at the splits. I can tell if it's a tight split, you most likely we'll get a double team, like just things like that. Is there a time you didn't consider coming back for a fifth year? Uh nah. Okay. You yeah. knew you wanted yeah, to come back. Right. What have you seen from Aiden Hutchinson this year? Oh my God, Aiden, like from the first day until now, he's making a huge jump. Uh, that kid's gonna be all American here. I don't wanna speak too fast, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me, let, me, let me slow it down a little bit, but Can he'll you, be all American by the time he finish. Rash Rashawn was saying that he's Aiden's further along right. at the same point. So I mean, yeah. is that, I mean, you saw Rashawn when he was a freshman, True. so. Aiden just like he goes hard, like he he's strong, he goes hard, like he's smart, like he really understands football. Like a lot of freshmen when they come in, they really don't understand like the adjustments to like high school and to college, and like he really understands football. Does it also help that he's just super tall and big? True, <laughs> that also helps too. What do you say to a guy like Luigi who's had some tough work with injuries? Uh, I just keep going like. For myself, like I didn't play my freshman year, my sophomore year, barely played my junior year. Really saw start seeing the field my senior year. Just perseverance, like just keep going through it. And one day, like myself, like I start, I started my first game, my seat, my fifth year. So like, just gotta keep going. What's the frustration like for you when you're you're not able to play your year? Ah uh, man, you really go through it. Like you really be like, man, like am I really? Good, or you really start thinking, like start, start second guessing yourself and start second guessing your skills. But like for myself, I just kept going through it, kept getting better and better, and I still ain't where I want to be, but I'm far along than I have been. Did someone help you with that, or are you self motivated? That uh, to talk to someone? I mean, for my freshman year, we got I had role models like Frank Clark. Uh, Mo Hurst, Chris Wormley, like all those guys was in my ear, and I seen how they did it. And 
as soon as I saw how they did, I'm like, all right. So I really start understanding like the game, like how the business is ran. Why didn't you go to, or look consider anywhere else for your fifth year if you hadn't started yet? Uh, because I felt like Mo Hurst left, uh, the spot was open, and like I was just gonna walk away from something that I knew I could, I knew I could play here. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of guys second guess their skills and they go somewhere else, like a lower division. And like I feel like I could play here at Michigan, and that's what I did. Don Brown talked your name up during bowl prep back uh, in December. Did, right. did he ever talk to you, with you, or did you talk to him about maybe your role going forward? Um, maybe not, Madison, maybe? I talked to Coach Madison. Yes, uh, just talking about like what's my role going to be coming up this upcoming season, and that was pretty much it for real. You made the switch to inside last year, right? When did you ultimately feel comfortable there, though, where it was uh, more about instinctual? I really start feeling comfortable this year. Like this year, fall camp, that's when I really got my feet wet and I really understood like all the blocks that was given at me. Like my like last year, I, I understood it, but I really didn't know how to play it right. But watching Mo play it and just seeing how he did it, and this all season just really working on drills for inside guys, and I feel like I'm. I'm good at it. I'm getting better at it. Was part of that the, the tip? I mean, was yeah. that the instincts there? Is that a play maybe you might not have made a couple years ago? Uh, Yeah, you could say that. Uh, that's instincts, just knowing the quarterback was like, just keep getting your hands up, I guess. Yeah, you're right. Oh, uh, yeah, every now and then, yes. Yeah, of course, got to. Is he sort of the blueprint for how to play the position? Because everybody talks about him here. Uh, I'd say, yeah. Mo Hurst, he showed he showed me the ropes. Like before, like I didn't know nothing about inside. Mo Hurst really gave me the blueprint for real to like how to play it, and that's what I'm trying to do to the younger guys to coming along. You mentioned the sacks were kind of what the defensive line or, or the tackles are doing different. What is why is that happening more? You know, what what are you guys doing as a unit differently uh, than maybe just getting one? off the blocks, like just okay. not staying on the blocks, like really getting off the blocks. And really trying to get to the quarterback because we know the quarterback gonna start throwing it quicker, like you know what I'm saying. So we just trying to get to the ball fast. Did you learn a lot from the week one going over yeah, that of film? Course, yeah, yeah. yeah. So what sort of things stood out? Uh, like I said before, we were staying on the blocks too long. A lot of we left a lot of sacks on the field the first game. You mentioned you were trying to mentor a younger um, interior defensive lineman. What sticks out to you about Carlo Cap? Oh, Carlo, Carlo really knows the game. Like he really understands football. Like uh, he really understands the game, and like he's strong. Carlo's very strong, and he get off the blocks. Good player. Is there a you know example that sticks out to you um, where it's like football IQ or his knowledge of the game really sort of stuck out? Can you repeat that? Is, was there a time to you where his knowledge of the game really stuck out to you? Can you, you know, uh, I mean, you can see it in practice, like just like when we go over the, t the tendencies of the opposing team, and like how he just plays the block very well, or just like get to the ball very well. Like you can just see it throughout practice. Lawrence, with the <clears throat> excuse me, the off season talk, and then obviously this year with a, a bigger role. On <clears throat> excuse me, a bigger role on the team. Is it? I mean, how much of it is you know self-affirmation that you you stuck with it, you knew that you could play here, and, and that you are now? Can you repeat that? I'm sorry. How much is it like you know self-affirmation, knowing I mean, that you stuck with it? They talked to you in the off season. Right. You have a bigger role now. Like uh, how you know thinking of it? Okay, you stuck with it. You could have gone somewhere else. Right. Uh, I just knew my talent, and I knew that I had to sit down with myself and uh, weigh out the pros and cons. Like if I go somewhere else, I have to relearn the whole defense. I'm very comfortable with the defense here, and just like I'm like I told myself I'm like I could play here. There's no doubt in my mind, and I don't want to transfer to a lower division or nothing like that because I know I could play here. Have you seen this the defensive line's been a, a power for yeah. this program for you know five years now? I mean, how, how have you you've been here for that whole time? How have you seen it develop from the beginning to right now? Oh my God, it just keep getting better and better. Uh, for my freshman year, you had Frank Clark, that was an animal here. And then last year, you had Mo Hurst. I feel like this year, we got our inside guys is a lot better. Like, not a lot, I'm going to say a lot better. We got more depth in our inside guys. Like, we got people who could go and fill those roles, and we won't skip a beat. Like, last year, I feel like we had inside guys, but Mo Hurst led the show. 
and I feel like this year we got other guys who could keep going and we won't skip a beat. What does that, what does that chain mean? Oh, my fraternity. Yeah, Omega Sapphire. Omega Sapphire. Is there anyone else on the team that's in there? Uh, Ruben Jones. Oh. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks Thank you.